Grand Rising Bag family. Today, we got a lot of projects going on, going on out at Black Acres of the Gambia. Uh, what I wanna show you in this video is the brother that's coming to build our concrete pillars. And what he's gonna do is build a base that's strong enough to support two 5,000 liter tanks. And they're gonna sit on top of each other, not directly, but there'll be some space between the two, but two 5,000 liter tanks will stand vertically. All right, so we're gonna check out my man work. All right, check it out. These two brothers right here are digging our base. As you can see, there'll be four corners to the base or for each pillar. And we're gonna do the concrete work starting tomorrow. So what they're doing right now is just digging the foundation. Okay, again, there are two up there. And this is the uh, borehole that the first guy did a poor job on. And here's the other leg of the base. And there's the fourth leg. I just wanted to show you the start of this, guys. And we also have a door where you can just open it up. You don't have easy access to that borehole or to the two vertical 5,000 liter tanks. Okay? All right. We're gonna periodically update you uh, with this and stuff. So stay tuned. All right, guys. We're exiting, or I'm leaving uh, Black Acres of the Gambia right now, walking to another area. We have to go and pick up some supplies today. And uh, what I've noticed is a lot of the brothers over here, their jobs are very, very labor intensive. Now, I can't help but thinking now, if I was coming up, in this system here, would I endure? And my answer to that is yes, because a majority of the jobs that I did when I was in America were labor intensive. As a matter of fact, just to jump back in history a little bit, in my uh, uh, American years, I kept getting fired from jobs for some reason. You can go back and check out the videos uh, as to why I think I kept getting fired. I mean, you know, the system says other, other things, but you know, it is what it is. At any rate, as I kept getting fired, sweet juicy mama said, Hey Rick, won't you get unemployment? I said, I don't want their money. You know, I felt, uh, you know, I could do it on my own. And so anyway, anyway, she finally persuaded me to go ahead and get this, um, um, unemployment. And so after that ran out, uh, it was only about like uh, $200 a month or a week or something like that. I can't remember, but it was a very, very small amount. And I figured it wouldn't make a difference. I mean, basically it was gas money and every little bit helps. So at any rate, after that ran out, you know, uh, I would try to file for an extension. Uh, and the guys would say, hey, you know, you got all this college education, you could teach or do something of this sort. And, you know, nobody want to hire a middle-aged uh, pro-black brother. You know what I'm saying? We come in and try to wake people up and the system don't like that. And so anyway, this sister was saying, uh, to make a long story short, hey, you know, you seem healthy and, you know, looks are deceiving at times. She said, oh, you look healthy. Maybe you could uh, go pick some corn or some cotton or some peanuts or whatever 
uh, Mexican people were doing in Clarksville, she wanted me to go out there and do it. And Sint was outraged. She said, hey, you know, my husband has a master's and this and that. And we got our own uh, business on the side. And uh, at any rate, the point of the matter is, if I had to pick cotton, if I had to go out there and pick corn or uh, no, it was tobacco, guys. I'm sorry. I, I just remembered. It was tobacco. The lady said, hey, you know, he seems healthy. Why, why don't he go out there and pick some tobacco? And Sam was outraged. And you know, when Sweet Juicy Mama gets outraged, guys, get the hell out the way. That's the only thing I can say about that. Or hide. That's what I do sometimes. When I can't get the hell out the way, I hide. Hide until she comes down and come back to normal. And so anyway, uh, I would have picked the tobacco and stuff, you know, because, hey, I feel to support my family. I do what I have to do. And so over here, you know, I look at the brothers when we come in and say, hey, give us a, 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 a bid or a quote on getting some work done. And they kind of say, okay, hey, we'll do it for this amount. And you know, you gotta haggle with the price a little bit. That's customary. And so anyway, when it comes down to having the work done, these guys are doing everything with manual labor. No equipment whatsoever. They're digging holes with, without a post hole digger. They're, di they're digging trenches without trenchers. They're, they're, they're cutting grass with machetes instead of a, a riding mower. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of crazy, guys. So um, I, I said all this to make this point right here. You know, you do what you have to do until you can do better. Now, I do have a problem if you stay there year after year, decade after decade, doing the same things and uh, expecting different results. You know, you do this for a little while to get your money right, and then you go out there and buy the cheapest, smallest piece of equipment that you can, work it, work it, parlay those profits into bigger and better equipment, and so on and so forth. And that's exactly the recipe that we used in America. And that's what helped us to achieve freedom and get out of the matrix. All right, guys, for those of y'all out there that heard me talk for these last few minutes, hopefully you got something out of that. But uh, stay tuned for more content upcoming. Fast. Okay. Yeah, boss, Roz, yes. He had a... Anybody take uh, the bucket uh, around uh, the uh, Yeah. Yeah. They say they will dig today. Tomorrow when they come, yeah, they I start think. to make their yeah, irons and their box. Yeah. Yeah. With the things that we got, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to get cement now. Anything else you need? What about the food that you say you need? Yeah. What size? Yeah, you say you buy. What am I? What am I killing? What am I killing? Do you want to be there? Don't let's go. Ah. No, I don't. I don't do carpentry. Nobody. Yeah. 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 I cannot get it maybe just uh, tomorrow I want it to rent it from you. Yeah. And if you buy, you can use it after you can park it in your building or so you can use it again. That one is not cost. It's, it's those who we used to make that pillar. Well, tell me what it is. What I will tell you when it's Because they need wood, two, two plywood or something. Yeah. The black one I need. The black one. The black black one. one. Yeah. You know what he need? Yeah. Yeah. How many? So you go to, you if can... you go to again, you can have um, nine full of sand and a bit of what bundle do you come in the rapid? No, after you, you after you buy one by two, if you want by Miss Man, one by two. two, one by two, one by two. Ah, one by two. Ah. Anybody go take that? But at the nine is another. You don't buy for a lot. You don't buy for a lot. That's what we wait. Four pieces of the lager. Ah, you're not going to be four pieces of the lager. You're not going to be four. So 16, four, four, four. You don't like it like this. Okay, we'll get four pieces here. We'll get four pieces here. We'll get four pieces here. So do we need two pieces or four or? No, you need only two. Only two and you cut. Yeah, yeah. if you, you get if two. you get two plywood, the black yeah. one, two plywood. That one is very strong. If you put concrete, they will never go like this. So you do know what he needs. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, if you put you need a one by two, lad. Yeah, one by two also. Do one by two. Plywood only. Any plywood or any pond hole. Any pond hole, lah. What name, Haman? Ni wosoro raja. All right. Thank you. Any film course, sir? Where? 
And then he would do that on there again. On there. Yeah. The next one he builds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's go over here. We got enough of this. Let's go and check this man out over here. Okay. 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 If we need extra, we'll just buy extra, sweet mama. Okay. okay. I just keep going back and forth to the store. Me too. All right, guys, we're back. I would not tell you guys what happened to us trying to pick up uh, supplies from gym packs. A horror story, guys. Maybe I'll tell it to y'all on a later date, but we're back at the land now, and we're looking at where the four pillars would go over the borehole. Okay? This right here is a borehole, guys. We do have a borehole here, and also uh, a deep well. We're gonna look at them both and stuff, okay? All right, sweet mama trying to settle up because uh, we thought we'd be back in about three hours to do some more things, and we had some delays, a flat tire, a, a fist fight, uh, all this stuff, man. Hey, I'll just explain it to you guys later on, okay? So this is what the first day looks like for the pillar to hold two 5,000 liter tanks, okay? Until next time, guys. Love, peace, soul.